Now this is a weird one guys, I've never had a car that can move in that direction. Very strange, and I don't know, it's one tenth to one twelfth scale monster truck you could call it. It has four 280 size brush motors, so it's, it's very unorthodox. So it's got these mechanism wheels that make it move in those weird directions. Now, to do that you'd need four separate motors, one on each wheel like it does. So it's very strange. It does come with normal size uh, or normal style tyres as well, tyres and wheels if you want to change it up a bit. But the whole, the whole point of this is that uh, omnidirectional driving style, I guess you could call it. Now it's not hobby grade, really. Uh, I don't normally do these, but I thought, you know what, I'll change it up a bit on the channel. Some people might be interested in this and uh, why not? You never know. It's... Uh, the body does look pretty cool though. They've done a good job on the paint and the body and the Lexan, but it is a true ready to run. It does come with your battery, your charger, your basic 2.4 gigahertz controller that runs on three AAA batteries. It's even got this little fancy little driving uh, knob up there, but uh, you'll see that later on in the video. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe, hit the notification bell as well so you can notify of all the cool upcoming videos. And if you're still interested in this video, check it out. I'll unbox it quickly, and then we'll do a little bit of a driving test. Pretty cool. Now here's a box that comes in. Super simple, but it does the job of protecting it. Let's get rid of this. Construction manual. Let's not waste too much time. Check out this thing. So these are Mechanum, I believe they're called, wheels, or omnidirectional. And they use them a lot in, um, I guess, factories and stuff like that to move in all different directions. It's like a 360, well, they can move in any direction, really. Omnidirectional uh, mechanism wheels, I believe they are called in the scientific name. And let's quickly see what else you get in this box. So you get four normal style rims and tires. There's your basic style wheel and tire that you get on any normal RC car. They, uh, well, they are. <laughs> Funny enough, if you, haven't, if you know crawlers, they are beadlocked to a degree. So not glued. Fairly soft, but definitely see how they hold up. And you also get a 2.4 gigahertz controller. And a uh, screwdriver for ants. That's tiny. But uh, 24 gigahertz has a foam lining on the steering wheel here. Requires three AA batteries, which is good. And they have your. It looks might look a little bit different than your standard one. You have like a little controller here that's to do all those funny looking moves and stuff. You can go backwards and like left and right. I think 360 steering trim and your HD trim. On and off switch, and uh, we'll go through that when we turn it on. I'll show you what I, exactly what I mean. A basic USB wall charger. That is it, and the instruction manual. But I don't want to waste too much time because I know you guys want to see this guy. So you can basically see him just moving around. <laughs> now it spins around like that. So it, it is pretty interesting. Funny, definitely fun looking. Now I don't normally do these because it might be a little bit toy grade, but. Uh, had it sent to me and I uh, thought I'd do the right thing and review it. Now it's not expensive, link is in the description when I go check it out. Um, let's have a quick look around there. Obviously your battery goes underneath that and we can have a look what size that is. Alright, now this is standard, well, it's a 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp hour battery. Dense connector, so you can use a, a decent charger, don't bother using these. Uh, USB chargers, please guys, if you're in it, just buy a proper USB, or get rid of your USB charger and buy a normal four button charge if you can, but underneath there, on and off switch, all plastic construction down below, no, well, yeah, no hex heads, it's all Phillips heads, so it's all old school, shocks aren't oil filled, so like I said, don't expect a hobby grade per se, with this guy, I think it's more of a fun vehicle, maybe something for the kids, here is your body, it does have a protective film on it, now we'll, we'll Kick that off the curb. Okay. Colours look nice, though. Basic, basic Lexan. We're in like Flynn. So, we think about this to give you that range of movements. You have four 280 size brushed motors. You can see you've got one for each wheel. So, that's what makes it uh, a little bit interesting. You have a standard size, it seems, well, kind of looks standard size steering servo, but it's a five wire steering servo, so that's interesting, so if that goes kaput, forget about it. Um, shows you brace the middle, plastic construction, obviously, as you can see. Now it doesn't have a, a diff, because each motor, it's got a wheel for each motor, so as you can see, 
the other one doesn't spin. Now the, the drive shafts are all plastic, dog bone, uh, well I guess it's a dog bone construction for both sides there as well. Fairly flexible bumper, it does have that little cushion there when you're smacking into things so it just bounces back, that's for the front and rear as well. No adjustments for camber or um, ride height or anything like that. Uh, no adjustments either for your suspension height. You can adjust the body up and down. Just here, it's got uh, one, two, three, four positions at the front and heaps at the back. So, not much else on and off switch like I mentioned before. Very interesting. Now. If you don't want them, you can always put the, if you don't want to use these omnidirectional wheels, you can always put the normal ones on there, but I think, I don't want to waste your guys' time anymore. Let's get the batteries charged and take it outside of what you really want to see. <laughs> Very interesting. Now, it, it is all proportional apparently, like steering and throttle, but uh, <laughs> pretty strange. Okay, now, this is the weirdest thing. Very, very strange. So you got your normal control, like a normal RC car, as you can see. And that's, you know, with your basic thumb and your throttle. But you also have this little toggle switch like we showed you in, in the um, unboxing. And, and that is proportional. So if you just push it left and right a little bit, it'll go in that weird <laughs> alien-like uh, movement, which is pretty cool. You know, it's not for everyone. It's, it's more of a kid type of thing, but it does have proportional control. And I uh, wanted to show you as well that these buttons here, 360, you can push that, push that again, and that's not proportional. But this one here, if I'm just putting a little bit and do it even harder, it'll go. So look at this, I can just do some weird, crazy, crazy movements. <laughs> really weird, isn't it? But uh, I've, I've never, never seen that before in an RC car. That's top speed. So I guess you could do like a combo of... Uh, I wonder if you can... I'll go forward and then... Yeah, you can. That is just really weird. So, like I mentioned, you've got four 280, four 280 motors. They are brushed. And this is fully charged. I wonder if you can run a 3S in this bad boy. Wouldn't that be funny? But it doesn't seem to last long. That battery is already... Yeah, well, that... That did not last long at all, guys. This is real weld. I'm not going to fluff it up. So that battery did not last very long. I was going to put the um, the off-road tires on there and see how it goes, but <laughs> that's weird. Really interesting. So if you like the uh, this car, links in the description. You want to go check it out. If you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up, guys. Really appreciate it and really appreciate appreciate all the new subscribers. Click that little notification bell as well uh, if you subscribe, subscribe so you get all um, you get notified of all the latest content because there's heaps of cool stuff coming up. Don't normally do kind of these type of things. This is more toy grade, but it looked pretty cool and uh, sort of <laughs> it's pretty interesting. So, cheers, guys! If you like the video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.